Hi everybody, it's nice to be back with you on this Monday for our daily briefing and our, on our Facebook Live. Today I want to give you a couple of numbers and then just make a couple of uh, points about the weekend. Today there are 52 active cases in Fort Worth and three recoveries. That's up from 41 on Friday, but it's not at all unexpected. We knew the numbers were going to climb some. Hopefully we'll get up to that apex shortly and begin to flatten it because I want to thank you all who are sacrificing so much and who are following the recommendations that we have in place right now. I know the weather was beautiful this weekend. I had a chance to be out on my bicycle, my husband and I. We were six feet apart and we tried to stay that far apart from everyone and many of you are doing that. And many of you really want to be out and about with your friends, but remember, the safety of our entire community depends on how close we practice the stay at home order. You could be contributing to the spread of this virus even if you don't have symptoms or if you're just beginning to feel those symptoms. You can, we can stop it and we can slow it down and we can prevent our hospitals from getting overrun and that is one of the first and foremost. Even if you aren't at risk of having COVID 19 and most of us all, our loved ones could be and you certainly don't want that and they would require medical attention or potentially a family member might have a broken leg or some other medical event and if the hospitals are overrun they won't have the treatment. So everybody let's take this seriously and let's try to wind it up sooner rather than later. I'll make a note that over the weekend we got lots of messages about basketball courts and volleyball courts and how many folks were on those playing basketball and playing volleyball. That's not really social distancing. The City of Fort Worth Parks and Recreations Department made the decision today that they would be closing basketball courts and volleyball courts. The nets at both will be removed to keep people from being there. There are over a hundred basketball goals in our park systems and those will be removed and I don't know the number on volleyball but the volleyball nets will be removed. We take no pleasure in having to restrict your use of those courts but when they get overrun with kids and adults we just simply can't risk the spread of COVID-19. You got to take it sooner. You got to take it seriously, folks. So sooner or later, we'll begin to stop this and we can all get back to our freedoms. But today I've got a little bit of happier news. On a good point, I've got Kara Waddell, the CEO of Child Care Associates with me, to announce something that a press release went out on earlier today. You will really find this amazing. It's called FIND, and it's about finding child care help for first responders and for medical professionals in this crisis who often need to work long hours, additional shifts, and many time into the night. We simply need it to come together to find them the resources for child care. So, Kara, would you like to join us and talk a little bit about FIND? Absolutely. Welcome. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm Kara Waddell again with Child Care Associates, and I'm here to give some bragging rights to child care programs today. Child care in Fort Worth, Arlington, and Tarrant County have remained open to provide child care to the children of essential workers. And we're really pleased today, along with Mayor Price, to announce FIND, a feature to support our essential workers. And so um, basically parents employed by essential businesses during COVID-19 can now access on their mobile phones or on their computer a searchable engine to find an available child care program near either your work or your home and then search to see immediately if your age of child is, is going to have an available child care slot. And we're very excited. You can, you can visit find.bestplaceforkids.com. Again, find dot best place number four kids.com and parents who are deemed essential workers during the COVID-19 response can easily search and find available child care on their mobile devices so as of Friday we had 50 percent of our licensed child care programs open and over 7,700 available child care slots and 
Mayor Price, I know you know, since our community is committed to becoming a best place for kids, we have rallied in the last few days and we've built a platform that today serves the need of essential workers, but tomorrow can help all Tarrant families find available childcare. So again, um, all essential workers in Tarrant County can now do, um, go to find and find the free child care tool at find.bestplaceforkids.com. Now for our communities, hospitals, first responders, or agencies with essential workers, you're welcome to call us at Child Care Associates on our main line at 817-838-0055. And we'll have a specialist work directly with you so that you can identify the child care assets in the vicinity of your hospital or other locations. And we've got one other announcement as well. Tarrant County, along with the cities of Fort Worth and Arlington, have released guidance and recommendations for our child care programs that are open and operating. So this was emailed to all licensed care um, this afternoon, and we have shared this also with your child care mentors. This will work to ensure that no classroom exceeds a total of 10 children or adults, as well as give guidance on basics like disinfecting toys in classrooms and physical distancing. With toddlers, we don't social distance, but we're trying to keep the space. It's a hard thing to do. So lastly, let's continue to support our essential uh, workers, many of whom have young children. And we wanna make sure that your children are healthy and safe and learning. And generous thanks to our incredible and faithful childcare providers who are out there on the front lines. And I'm thrilled that we're able to support working parents by making this available as well. So Mayor Price, we're excited to make this possible. Very exciting. Great. Kara, thank, thank you. you. It's really exciting, folks. And when we come out of this crisis, this tool will still be available and be expanded. I do want you to know, we visited earlier about this, these are licensed child care providers. These are not just people who came on board and agreed to do child care. These are trusted, vetted child care employees. So if you're in a situation where you don't have child care and you're a first responder or a central hospital medical worker, then go to find and see if you can't locate a spot. A lot of time has gone into this, 1,200 hours, Kara, correct? Absolutely. Kara's nodding her head over there. And how about that? They got the program up and running in a little less than two weeks. All typical Fort Worth, people come together when we have a crisis. I just want to thank you all for tuning in and listening to us daily, for being with us. And once again, I want to thank our first responders, our medical professionals, and everyone at the EOC who's out there working on your behalf and keeping you stay. So y'all stay safe, y'all stay healthy, and y'all stay home. <laughs>